Hello everybody, all you wonderful people, and welcome back to another episode of Grand Theft Auto 5, and here we are. And uh, yeah, in this episode I'm gonna com uh, continue with some strangers and freaks missions, and also I'm gonna go ahead and complete an off-road truck race. So, let's get going. We are in a taxi and we are playing as Trevor at the moment. And uh, yeah, I'm not available for a job. I don't want to do a job. Okay, taxi job offered. To accept, press E. You leave that to me. Ha <laughs> ha. Cancel that. Turns out I can't be bothered after all. Oh yeah. What have you got for me, dispatch? I got a pickup not too far from you. Sending you the address now. Consider it done. Yeah, consider it done. Cancel the job. Found a better use for my time. Exactly. <laughs> so don't consider it done. All right. Anyways, here we go with our beautiful taxi that has actually fixed itself after I crashed. A couple of times with it but let's go on over here and climb up the mountains to the location of the race and uh, yeah let's go so here we go off-road definitely this is some true off-roading all right anyways Let's drive over here and start the race. Okay, there you guys are. Hello, I'm just coming in with a taxi here. Oh, sorry, sorry, I don't want to come in aggressive. I had a weapon on my hand. Oh, you're pumped, huh? Let's enter the race and uh, take the first place. Oh, you know this course, huh? Well, I bet you still can't win. Okay, now get the fuck out of my way, everybody. Just like that. Okay, there we go. And we are number one. Surprise, surprise. Who is the best driver, huh? Anyways, look at these people. Okay, okay, this is some true off-roading. No way. No way, exactly. Let's uh, tailgate him a little bit and... Bye. Bye, there we go. Okay, now I hope that guy is not gonna catch up to me. Come on, car. Go faster. Okay, looking good, looking good. Here we go, and we have pretty much lost our competition, except for this little mistake I made. Okay, they are still far behind. Okay, another mistake. This car is kind of bouncy for some reason, but oh, yeah, there we go. Okay, I got the checkpoint. All right, let's follow the road nicely okay they are way behind me over there somewhere so we have absolutely no worries in this race here we go and then let's go over here and continue here we go, here we go, let's make a sharp turn and put the pedal to the metal and let's go. This seems like a long race. Well, maybe it is, who knows, I mean, yeah, anyways. Ah, oh, my car window is broken. What a shame. Anyways, there we go. Philips number one. There we go. And 
Amanda. What? Yeah, I did. I went to the dentist, huh? Alright, well, interesting and thank you. What? No, I don't want to do this again. Uh, I'm gonna do this. Alright, now I don't have to do it again. I would rather pay $5,000 of hospital fees than do that again. Because it's now completed, it's now completed, okay? Okay, Mort sent me something. But uh, I'm not gonna do that right now. Uh, instead, I'm gonna call a cab and uh, let Please it cab, take me Steal to Los off. Santos. Good work. Good work. Yeah, come fast. I'm getting real wet out here in the rain. All right, there you are. Hello. All right. Oh, oh, whoa, oh, oh, whoa, oh. whoa. I was about to accidentally hijack the taxi. Anyways, let's go on to that location and collect a celebrity item. This is a part of a Strangers and Freaks mission for Mr. and Mrs. Nigel. So here we go. Let's go ahead and complete this out of the way. Alright. It's loading, 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 loading. Come on, Los Santos. You can't be that hard to load. There we go, and it's still raining, unfortunately. Well, anyways, now I am at the uh, circle, as you can see, the orange circle on the map. So let's go in here and go to Carrie. Hello, Carrie. Dexy, Dexy. Oh That's no! Ball, you stupid ball prick! You called me a stupid ball. Tr uh, prick Trevor is not going to like that anyways we have to chase the dog and get it back to carry Macintosh some kind of a celebrity yeah there you are. There, there. I know this is weird for all of us. You're gonna make a bad shit crazy lady very happy. Oh, I just took okay, the dogs. I took the dogs, uh, what is it called? You know, the thing. Well, okay. If that's what Shaw. these people want. Maniac steals collar from Carrie McIntosh's dog in Rockford Hills. <laughs> ah, the collar. Mrs. Thornhill will have me sporting that in the bedroom before the week is out. <laughs> oh, I, I, I joke, of course. We really of can't course you, you do. For all the effort you're going to to make our holiday so special. Nah, don't mention it. I always enjoy meeting people more chemically unbalanced than myself. Oh yeah, they definitely are chemically unbalanced. Okay, a golden medal, that's nice. Now let's go ahead to there. That's the next location for a some kind of a celebrity item. And watch out. Excuse me, you excuse me. I'm driving here. Anyways, let's go to the waypoint and do the third celebrity item collection mission, whatever they are, I don't know. Anyways, here we go, let's turn over here and okay, here I am and uh... Looks like I have to find my way. Oops, 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 oops. Do I have to knock that guy out or something? So, what what did it say? Uh, 
Steal Tyler Dixon's clothes. What the frick is wrong with these people? They want their clothes? Well, I'm gonna get them. Okay, this guy's not seeing anything. Uh, I'm just gonna knock you out for a moment. Alright, I hope that didn't hurt too much. Anyways, now let's go and creep up over here. Oh, well, we gotta climb over here apparently. And then, that's locked. You gotta climb. Okay, let's see. Let's go to... I'm your worst enemy. I don't care. Hey, he just took my clothes. Okay, what are you gonna do about that, huh? Hello, police. Uh, th th there's a vagrant on my property who won't leave. Yeah, that's it, Rockford Hills. Yo, please hurry. I think he's mentally defective. Yeah, I am. There you go for calling the Yo, police on me. Here, like for a reality TV show? No, you're not getting set up. All right, get up. No, man, you can't be serious. Yo, your problem, man? And you too. And there we go. Hello, police. Oh no, no. Let's go into the rage mode. Oh, what the fuck? What the fuck? Okay, I'm going to die. Okay, I'm not. I want to find the running coward. Even though that's not even required, but... Where did the man go? Okay, he's going over there. Running away. I'm coming, alright. Oh no, don't say that he disappeared. Don't say that. Nope, he didn't disappear. And Trevor got some stamina. Okay. Hello, cops. And that white car is going to be mine. Am I done? Huh? Let's get in the car. Oh, whoa, 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 whoa. Okay, I actually failed the mission. Well, let's retry it. Hey, who the fuck are you? Do you know that guy? Yo, what do you think you're doing here? Your man, this is private property. Oh, Just yeah? pretend I'm not here, kids. Yeah. You're crazy. I'm calling the cops. No, you're not calling the cops. There you go, there you go, and there you go, and there you go, and there you go, and there you go. Alright, and then, okay, well I still got a wanted level, but I think that's something that will happen anyways in this mission. And then your little girlfriend over there, I, I'm not going to kill her, but... Oh, she probably died. Well, that's too bad. Anyways, I need a car now. ASAP, ASAP. Anybody have a car in there? Uh, parking place? Anybody? Somebody, please? No cars here? What? You rich people don't own cars? What's wrong with you, huh? Okay, I guess I have to go up here, like so, and start jumping and going through rich people's uh, houses, like this. Then I'm going to climb up the... Oh, alright, well I lost the cops. 
Hello, this is Nigel. Hello. Please be quick. I'm roaming in the United States of America. It's me, you nutcase. I picked up some clothes from your friend Tyler Dixon. There's even a skid mark. What fantastic news! Wait till Mrs. Thornhill hears about this. Oh, she will be pleased as punch. Oh yeah, I can believe that. Hey. Don't you run away from me. Alright, and then there's going to be one more. We have to go to the golf club. And collect some... Something from there. So, let's drive over to the golf club. And we actually have to drive over to the... A uh, place where we can get inside so here we go just like this then let's go over here and from here we can get inside the golf club and let's go ahead and then basically complete the mission so here we go let's go to the area which is marked orange and i got a wanted level already okay so steal the golf club from mark fostenberg oh you got some security huh hey where do you think you're going Okay, fuck Christ, this isn't worth it. Just take the damn club. Okay, do I have to take this or his golf items? Okay. There we go. And hello, LSPD. I'm just gonna get out of your eyes real quick so you don't have to think about me anymore. So, let's go. Alright. Here we go, here we go. Alright. Oh, crap. That was a mistake, driving in that. Well, at least this car still moves. And this gardener is, is just doing his job like nothing is going on. Even though the place is swarming with police. Anyways. Let's go ahead and lose the cops. And then we should unlock the next mission for these two lovely English travelers who love American celebrities. Alright. We gotta wait for a little moment and then the police will be lost and they don't have to worry about me and I don't have to worry about them. So that's a win-win situation for all. Let's take a faster car. Like Word this. up! <laughs> I said it, Mrs. Thornhill! I uh, persuaded Mark Fostenberg to donate one of his golf clubs to your Museum of Dysfunction. Oh, bravo! It will take pride of place on the wall oh, about yeah. Jill von Krastenberg's pregnancy test. <laughs> Speak to you soon. I love Americans. They're all so brash and uncomplicated. Okay. You know why Trevor is doing these uh, favors for them? The reason is because they keep calling him an American. And uh, Trevor hates being called a Canadian. So that is the only reason he's doing these favors. Anyways, uh, next up, I guess we could go ahead and do a storyline mission. So, let's switch to Michael, see what he's up to. Hello, Michael. What are you doing? Oh, having nightmares? Okay. You better get changed. Okay, you, go, you you got some good clothes on. Right. First of all, I want to... Uh, my 
Michael, your very friends want to discuss something with us. I told them to meet at the garment factory. Get over there as soon as you can. Well, I will. But uh, first, I want to check out my investments. Okay. Ah. Uh, <laughs> this is what not. This is not what I was expecting. Ah. Uh, anyways. Let's go ahead and meet Solomon Richards at Richard, I mean the movie studio. Uh, where's my car? I'm a mania. Oh, look at that. Okay, well, I got an even better car. Probably this is it. Well, let's go. Here we go. Turn around and let's go and meet. Uh, Solomon Richards at the movie studio. Here we go. Okay. Here we go. Alright, we got a fast car and everything. Uh, can I get in from here? No, I can't. Okay, well, then we gotta go around from here, like this. Oh, sorry, I don't have time to stop for the stop sign. What's going on? Oh, that's, that's Rocco from the Ballad of Gay Tony, from Grand Theft Auto Ballad of Gay Tony. And Rocco, this man, this character, is annoying as... As frick. Exactly. With pleasure. I'm coming, tough guys. Eliminate Rocco, okay, so Rocco your time has come, okay? So let's go Rocco, I am coming. Why are you so scared? Back off. No, I'm not gonna back off When you were hitting on an old man yeah, tough guy. Hitting on an old man and then running away like a little, little. I'm only a paraplegic, but you can't feel anything. Ah, uh, you're throwing me softballs. A rum runner. But uh, speaking of accidents, those guys had one. Oh, if only we'd met 20 years ago, Michael. Maybe I wouldn't be in this mess. Yeah, you and me both, brother. Look, it's a pain, I know. But could you come by the studio now? I got something I'd like to show you. Oh, yeah, of course I can. Yeah, of course. I'll be right over. Okay. Well, I'm right next to here. So, yeah. Ah, these guys are seriously not even gonna open the gate for me. Well, anyways, let's go over here and see what Solomon Richards wanted to say. Hello. Come in. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Yeah, it turns out maybe I'm cut out for the movie business after all, huh? My friend, you're a sentimental thug with zero artistic training and nothing interesting to say. I would say you're overqualified. <laughs> anyway, oh, yeah. And take a look at that. Oh. Oh. Fucking A. Feels good, doesn't it? He was like about to actually done something. faint out. Movie. Welcome to show business. Nothing but make believe will ever feel quite real again. <laughs> oh yeah. Come on. Let me show you some rushes. I think you're gonna love it, but it'd be great to hear your notes. Okay. Hey, 
Hey, baby. I just wanted to tell you, I'm finally doing something with my life. I'm making a movie. A real one. Call me. Oh, yeah. Amanda, I don't know. Oh. A golden medal. That's always good to see. Anyways, let's get this filter. Right over here. And let's get going. And like in style. Like this. There we go. And thank you for not opening the freaking gates for your own people. Anyways, um, uh, I guess this is going to be it for this episode. I hope you guys enjoyed. Uh, I hope you guys are having a wonderful day so far. And, uh, yeah, we got some progress done. And, uh, yep. There's still a lot of things that I want to do, but anyways, we are one step closer to uh, having a some kind of completion in this game. I'm not going to 100% on this uh, playthrough, but I will be going to 100% in the future, but anyways... I hope you guys enjoyed and I hope I'm gonna see you guys in the next episode or some other video on the channel but anyways thank you guys for watching and see you guys later so bye bye and have a wonderful day everybody see you